In this video, we're going to show you how to get around in Superplate, where to find certain controls, and a few tips to take you a little deeper. Though the interface is pretty straightforward, there are a few not so obvious things. So let's get into it. Superplate comes with a selection of presets covering a wide range of possibilities and will give you great starting points as well as a nice overview of its capabilities. Saving and loading presets works just like all SoundToys plugins. Superplate features five classic plate emulations or styles, each one with its own unique sonic character. To select a plate style, simply turn the knob to the plate style you want, or you can jump directly to a style by clicking on the name. You can learn more about the history of each plate in the user manual, but here's a quick way to hear the differences in the individual styles. Starting from the default and using a simple source like a kick or a snare drum, adjust to the shortest setting and switch between styles. That will give you the general idea of where each one fits sonically as a starting point. The three interesting icons on the front panel are actually the input modes, with two models from preamps original to the hardware and a clean mode. These can be used with any of the plate styles and be driven with the input knob to add saturation or compression. The tube icon is the EMT V54 tube preamp model. This model can impart subtle tube warmth to fairly heavy distortion. While not useful for every sound, it can be the perfect character addition to some, adding extra harmonics or grit or noise. The middle icon is a transistor and is a model of the transistor-based EMT-162 solid-state preamp. This model is heavier on the compression than the saturation and adds yet another character shaping tool to any of the played styles. The third icon is a resistor and represents the clean mode, which does just what you'd think and keeps the reverb totally clean. The big knob in the middle is the decay knob that controls the length of the reverb tail or size of the reverb. It can dial in continuous decay times from half a second to actual infinity. And it will also jump to numeric settings by clicking on the numbers around the knob. The normal range of a real plate is roughly half a second to around four seconds. So the red area around the knob indicates times outside of the range of the hardware. Infinite decay can be used for massive ambient sounds or as a type of freeze effect. As mentioned, the input knob is used to drive the different input modes, getting more of the effect you've selected by increasing the gain into one of the modeled preamp modes. The output knob can be turned down if you're driving hard into saturation or compression, but don't want the increased volume, or to better balance the sound using the mix knob. The low cut filter is applied before going into the reverb, or pre, and rolls off the low end to shape and control the reverb, eliminating boominess and low end buildup. The high cut filter is applied to the reverb itself, post, and helps tame the high end or create darker reverb tones. Both filters have adjustable slopes for steeper cuts. Adjusting those will be covered in the tweak menu section. Pre-delay is pretty straightforward. 
turning the knob delays the reverb by whatever amount you dial in. This can help preserve transients or can be used as an effect to create larger spaces. To see the delay time, click on the pre-delay label. While the pre-delay does not have tempo sync, if you own Effect Rack or the Sound Toys Bundle, you can achieve that effect and many others by using Superplate inside Effect Rack with one of the tempo-based delays such as Echo Boy, Primal Tab, or even Crystallizer. Superplate features an additional set of advanced controls that are hidden away in the Tweak menu. To open this menu, press the button on the front panel, ironically labeled Tweak. The EQ features two bands, both post-reverb, with variable gain and cue control. You can set the frequency and gain by simply dragging a band to where you want it. To adjust cue, hold the Control key on Mac and Alt on Windows, and drag or scroll up or down. The cue range is broad and can be tightened down to notch out resonances in reverb tells or open wider to create wide bands to cut or boost. You'll see the two cut filters, low and high, are both on the EQ display as well, labeled L and H respectively. You can also grab those and drag them to new points too. And when you click on one of those points, you'll see the three different slopes available. You may also notice that the filter knobs on the front panel move to represent changes to these filters. One of the other controls in the EQ display is to bypass the two EQ bands. The cut filters are not bypassed. To bypass the two band EQ, press the small power button in the upper right hand side of the EQ display to toggle the EQ on and off. The modulation control has been expanded from the simple on off switch of little plate to a depth knob on the front panel and a rate knob in the tweak menu. This additional speed control for modulation in conjunction with a front panel depth control opens up a wide range of effects, from slow and subtle movement to swarming chorus type effects. Auto Decay is one of the exciting new features of Superplate. It's dynamic control over the decay time based on the changes in the input signal's amplitude. Conceptually, it's very similar to common ducking but is actually a unique process that dynamically clears out energy in the reverb tail and allows for some massive reverbs without the out-of-control buildup. For all that power, the controls are fairly straightforward. Threshold sets the point where the input signal begins to trigger the auto decay. Target is the decay time you move to once the threshold has been reached. And recovery is how fast the decay returns to the decay knob setting. A meter around the decay knob shows you in real time when the decay is being changed. One thing to note, while Little Plate sums the input to mono first, like the original hardware unit, Superplate is true stereo in and out. In essence, it's like having a separate plate on each channel. This means Superplate can retain your stereo imaging into the reverb, which gives a new dimension to the sound of the 140 style. The width control lets you adjust the width of the stereo reverb from the widest point down to mono. The balance tilts the signal to one side or the other and can create a sense of positioning in a space, interesting reflection type effects, or being able to pan your mono reverb to suit your source. Superplate includes Littleplate. So regardless of whether you purchase new or upgraded from Littleplate, you end up with both plugins. Superplate gives you more tools for controlling your reverb so you can have all the space you need. Experiment. Explore. Enjoy. <laughs>